Now we're going to be talking about leukoplakia. This is on page 1195 in Iggy, and it it kind of goes over our oral tumors, but we're not going to be talking about oral cancer this time around. We're just going to be talking about leukoplakia and erythroplakia. And leukoplakia presents as a slowly developing change in the oral mucous membrane that causes thickened, white, firmly attached patches that cannot easily be scraped off. Remember, we talked about stomatitis and um, the the type of stomatitis that has those white patches is candida. So that yeast um, or that fungal type infection with can candida, that can be easily scraped off as compared to our leukoplakia that cannot be. Um, these patches usually appear slightly raised and very sharply rounded. Um, most of them are benign. However, there is a very, very small percentage of them that can become cancerous. So the leukoplakia is usually found anywhere on the oral mucosa. Lesions on the lips or the tongue are most likely to progress to cancer. So we really have to um, be astute in our assessment of um, our oral cavity. Leukoplakia results from those mechanical type factors that can cause long-term irritation to the oral mucous membrane, such as poorly fitting dentures, chronic cheek nibbling, or broken or poorly repaired teeth. In addition, we'll ha you can also see what they call you can also see what they call oral hairy leukoplakia, which can be found in patients with HIV infection. Um, Remember also that any kind of tobacco products smoked, dipped, or chewed have been Im implicated in the development of leukoplakia. It's also called that smoker's patch. Um, leukoplakia is one of the most common oral lesions among adults. Um, oral hairy leukoplakia is associated with Epstein-Barr and can be that early manifestation of HIV infection. Um, the uh, leukoplakia that's not associated with HIV infection is often um, seen in people older than 40, and usually men have twice the incidence of leukoplakia than women have, but since the age of smoking in women, that statistic is also changing. I think this slide just gives you a little bit of a picture of that oral hairy leukoplakia that's seen in HIV infection and it's correlated with progression from the HIV to AIDS, which is a sad, sad thing. Erythroplakia is on page 1195 as well, and it's just a little paragraph. It just basically um, says if you find any kind of red velvet mucosal lesions at the surface of the oral mucosa, that's usually how this presents. Um, they're usually more malignant changes than in leukoplakia, and this one is considered to be precancerous. Um, they need to do a biopsy because uh, a lot of times it can be difficult to distinguish from inflammatory or an immune reaction, so biopsy is, is the uh, definitive diagnosis on this. And they, these are usually found most commonly on the floor of the mouth, um, the tongue, and the palate and mandibular um, mucosa.